By the creation. No, he can't. So who killed Jesus? Nobody killed him. So he died. He didn't he had die. A heart so who died on the cross? <laughs> that was mortal. That was mortal. He died mortal. Exactly my point. You can only die as a mortal. You, you don't understand the meaning of resurrection. Do you understand the meaning of immortal? It means that death is conquered. No, do you understand the meaning no, no, of immortal? Hold on a minute. You don't understand. No, resurrection just resurrection. means rising from the dead. It means that mortality is conquered. You know, you earlier said he didn't die. Are you sure about that? You said he did not die. By the way, this gentleman here doesn't believe in the crucifixion. Yes, I because, do. So why you said he didn't die? Because he died a mortal death. So he did die. That's of the world. My friend, simple question: Did Jesus die or not? Yes, he did. He died. Of the world. He died. Did he die or not? Yes or no? Yes, in this world. world. Of course, in this world. Where else will he die? <laughs> okay, okay, you believe in Okay, so who killed him? Okay. Who killed him? Do you, you believe in Who killed him? Well, man killed him. His own creation. His own creation. What kind of a God who you are? Who, God who dies by his own creation? Who killed him? Who killed him? His own creation. No, That's even worse than God killing him. No, no, no. Okay, what, what about resurrection then? Okay, I'll tell you what. I know why you want to forward from crucifixion no, no, to resurrection you, because he's ashamed of the crucifixion. No, no, hang on a minute. The crucifixion can only take I'm place to someone who's a mortal. And you have to yes, admit yeah. that Jesus is a mortal. No, no, you believe in you believe in resurrection. Of, of course, I believe we all will be resurrected then one day. Resurre Does it mean we all are God? No, no. Hang on a minute, I've got you. Re resurrection from what? From the dead. From this world. No, this from death. Itself. You don't know what resurrection I've got means. You. I've got you. Resurrection. Oh, you got me. Wow, you got brownie points. From what? The point is this: your God died by His own creation. How weak can you get? No, no, what, not, what kind of a weak God do you believe in? You're not answering my question. I said what? resurrection. You in resurrection. When, when you believe in resurrection of Jesus, you yeah. believe that he rose you from the dead. Because you believe that people say, die in this I world and they're going to be resurrected. Yes, of course. Everyone will be resurrected one day. Well, that's exactly, exactly. Doesn't what the mean they all will be God. Saying. No. Resurrection you doesn't. In fact, no, resurrection no, no, actually no. proves that he's not a God. You're, you're contradicting yourself. I'm not. Because you believe in resurrection. Yes. What's wrong with that? That means that you believe that mortal man dies, but then he's risen in righteousness. Through the power of God. What's wrong with that? Then that is exactly what Christianity is saying. About what? About whom? Well, who do you think? You tell me. Because you asked who me the question think? and I was talking about everyone. Who, who do you, who do you think I'm I think about? you are now trying to move the point towards Jesus. Sorry. Yes? That's what I'm talking okay. about. So Jesus. I'm trying to listen to these guys. But you were saying that he didn't die. Well, you, they you, can move yeah, yeah, but you were saying every, that. Everyone yeah, got yeah, a place yeah. here. But you were saying so what I'm saying is this. You're saying that. They can move elsewhere. They can move elsewhere. That's why. Die. What he I'm saying die. is this, if Jesus, if Jesus was God, listen, listen, if Jesus was God, then he should be immortal. Immortal means, at least let me finish the point I'm making. What do you mean, no, no, no? Have you read your Bible? Have you read your Bible? Okay, read 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 16, where it clearly states that he alone is immortal, who lives in unapproachable light, who no man has seen or can see. Now, whom is that talking about? Well, it's talking about God Almighty, yeah. who doesn't die. Well, well, no, no, one thing. What one thing? So the, what Jesus is the Messiah. Yeah. Now, why are you changing the topic to Messiah? Yeah, yeah. Messiah doesn't mean God, you know that. No, but you've read Daniel. No, but why are you changing the topic? Have you read Daniel? Answer the question I'm asking you first. Okay, well, well, is God, according to 1 Timothy 6, 16, read it, if you don't believe me, is he, is he immortal? Well, six years old, what well, logic is that? In, heavenly, in the heavens, is immortal. Anywhere, everywhere. God is immortal. Why? Yeah, yeah, God is God is immortal, anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. Do you agree? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Yes. Okay. Now the question. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't finished no, no, finish my point yet. The question is this: If God is immortal any time, every time, in any place, then the question, next question to you, was Jesus immortal? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, okay. yes. Well, can I ask you a question? No. After you answer this, you can ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you answer this question, no. Your soul is immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Does it mean you're immortal like God is? Yes. Oh, you're not. God says he alone is immortal. What is the meaning of the word alone? No, we're immortal. What is the meaning of the word alone? If I say you alone are wearing a, a, a yeah, yeah. green shirt, yes? Does it mean anybody else wearing a green shirt? I might be wearing a green t-shirt. Okay, but you're wearing a green shirt. And you're the, if I say you alone are wearing the green shirt. Yeah, but you believe that you're immortal. If God tells you that he alone is immortal, can anybody else be immortal? Well, God, uh, God is represented. The, re the, the resurrection represents the resurrection. Don't give me resurrection. It's a simple question.
question. Yeah, if yeah, God sorry, tells yeah. you that he alone is immortal, can yeah. anybody else be immortal? No, no. Good. No, no, actually we can. No, sorry, we can. Because so God is telling a lie that he alone is immortal? No, no, because our souls So God is telling you a lie when he says he alone is immortal? Our souls are immortal. Listen to this. Is God telling a lie in the Bible when he says he alone is immortal? Well, he made, he made us immortal. He made us immortal. Is God telling a lie when he says he alone is immortal? <laughs> he alone, the word alone. But we live in heaven. We, we go, we Why can't... We go to my friend, it's a very simple question. Why does God tell you that he alone is immortal, not anybody else? Yes, yes, yes. Why do you think he's telling you that? Yes, 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 yes. Well, he never dies. You say you never dies. No, teacher, no, no, teacher. Are you saying that God never Yes, God doesn't die. But Jesus did by his own creation. That you. Because you know why? Don't tell me because. The fact is, as soon as he died, it proves he's immortal. Yeah, well, I, I can under, I can describe that. It's because he come into this world. But he come into another. I didn't tell you how he died. He, 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 look, look, my friend. He, I didn't tell you how he died. He come into. Or why he died? He the question in. is, as long as you believe he died, then he's immortal. No, he you come can't. In. No, you no, no, can't no, no, contradict no, yourself. No, hang on a well, you believe he's he didn't die. What, what, I'm I'm saying saying is, like what I'm saying is, is that yes, he died, but he he was uh, divinity come into this dimension. It's another dimension. Look, if he died, he's immortal. You need to accept that. No, he didn't die. Oh, he goes again. See, he doesn't believe in the crucifixion, this guy. No, he died. He keeps saying he doesn't. He didn't die. He didn't he die. Did that, he did and then no, he can't he make up his mind. Of course, yeah, everybody dies a mortal. But this is the difference. What? He he come back. Powerful. This is the difference. That doesn't prove anything. That's the point. The fact that he died by his own creation. You got it. You got it. The very fact that he died by his own creation shows that he had no power over his creation. I'll tell you why. He has no power. I'll tell you why. Why? Because he come back bodily resurrected. What do you mean? And that means that he conquered death. No, no. You. That's what resurrection. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait That's what resurrection. We are not talking about resurrection. Why are you fast forwarding to resurrection? What, yeah. Resurrection only means that he had died. Well, he has to die first. Wait, of course. That shows that he's immortal. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, he died for a few days, but he come back. Few days. But he you don't die it. for a microsecond if you're well, immortal. Well, you believe in resurrection. I believe that God does so not die. If you don't believe that that happens, why are you arguing with me? Because I'm showing you your. The fallacy you in your argument, I believe, I show you the fallacy in your argument you that you at one minute says that God is immortal when it proves from the very Bible that you read, which you're holding in your hand in 1 Timothy 6.16, it says he alone is immortal. Okay? Focus, wait, 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 wait. Focus on these two words, the word alone and the word immortal. That means no one is immortal except God Almighty. Do you agree yeah. with that? With yeah. that? Okay. He's transcendent. Good. Is He's Jesus immortal. Don't die, is but. Jesus immortal then? Well, I, 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 I'll explain it in this way. He was the Son of God, which means that he represents God on earth. Did he die, sir? So if he's did representing he die? God, he's not a messenger. But did he die? He did he die? Yes, he died. Well, he's immortal. No. I think that ends the discussion on, there. De death is not the final answer here. I You're didn't saying say, like death no, no, no. is the final answer. I didn't answer. say death means, wait. Resurrection, death doesn't resurrection mean, hold which hold you believe. Hold on, hold on. Death you doesn't mean cease it. to exist. You need to get this, get you this understanding. It. Death means separation of the soul from the body. Did that happen to Jesus according to your belief? Yes, it yes, did. Yes, and you okay. believe it. No, no, be no, no, not that, but you believe in wait, resurrection. Wait, wait, wait. I believe, believe in resurrection. I believe that God is alone is immortal, like it says in the Bible and in the Quran. Yeah. Yes? Now you somehow believe that God can die as well by his creation. So you need to really somehow make no, up no, your no. mind whether God can die or you okay. cannot die. We'll put it this way. Do you believe in resurrection? You, you want to fast forward to resurrection? Yeah. Let's deal with the crucifixion first. Because that's what it represents. Crucifixion means, what it represents. means the earthly death of, you, of someone you call on of someone you call fully God. But you know what he is? He's the first. You know what he is? He's the first fruits. He's the first one that comes back from the resurrection. Really? That's what it says. He says he's the first. Didn't Elijah, he's the first didn't Elijah raise someone from the dead before that's, him? That, that's the understanding. Did Elijah raise someone from the dead in your Bible? Yeah, they rose someone from the dead to die again. Oh, so it wasn't Jesus who was no, the first to rise no, from the dead. No, no, your own was, Bible no, is, no, 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 no. Your own Bible is a testimony no, to that. No, they, they, he, uh, Jesus rose people from the dead. No, no. Did Elijah raise someone from the dead? Yeah, but they died. Did that happen before Jesus' it's crucifixion? It's not resurrection. Uh, what, what I'm talking. Well, sorry. What, what I mean rising by, someone from the dead is what, resurrection. No, no. What I mean by resurrection is is that the divine acts of God on Judgment Day, when everybody comes back to life, that's resurrection, where we're glorified in it. In, in, we were in a talking body. about immortality and mortality. I'm not talking about raising. It is someone. very clear I'm that Jesus. About it's someone. very clear that Jesus. I'm not talking. The about reason you want to fast forward to the resurrection is because you are yeah. somehow embarrassed of the crucifixion. No, I'm not. At, not at all. You deny so not many times that Jesus did not die. I'm not at on camera. You deny that he didn't die. Did he die or Why not? Why would I be embarrassed by it? Okay, so can God die? 
I say that God, no, I'll put it this way, God can't die, but he glorifies himself in this world. Then, if God he cannot die, wait a minute, if God world. cannot die, based on your just on your statement you made, then the question is, did Jesus die? It's intellectual. Did Jesus die? Intellectual No, it's not, it's from the Bible. I give you the words from the Bible. What do you mean? Of course intellectual. Why would God say you love him with all your heart and with all your mind? Use your mind. Yeah, Intellectually, yeah. you're saying that Muslim God died. can't Only do a Muslim wonderful man, act uh, for the world. What is the wonderful act about by, dying by his own by, creation? By coming, that doesn't seem wonderful to me. Wonderful, back. wonderful to me seems like so like God Almighty. I'm All right, I'll tell you what. I'm not embarrassed. Another question to you. Can, in your belief, yeah, one second. In, in your belief, can God forgive without spilling blood of the innocent? For the innocent. Well, according to the ancient world, animals are sacrificed in order to appease God. Is that a yes or a no? Can your God forgive without spilling a blood? He finished it. Can your God forgive someone without the spilling no, of the no, blood? No, because you're you're misunderstanding John. I didn't ask you why. I'm just asking you, can he forgive someone without spilling blood? No, no, he can't. There you go. My God can. Now you tell me who's the more merciful God? The one who demands blood? No. But the one who doesn't demand no, blood no, at all for no, forgiveness. Because you know okay? why? You know, you know what, what, by the way, when his God forgives yeah. with no, you blood, oh, that is actually called head. what? Then it's called payment by blood, no, not forgiveness. Yeah. Because forgiveness means okay. not expecting anything yeah, in return. But, but, but like for example, if, yeah, but, if this gentleman here borrowed money from me, and I say, no need to pay me back, you're forgiven of your debt, that is called forgiveness. But if I tell him, I seek payment in kind, so you give me your phone in, in return for that, then that's called payment. Because it's called, because it's called grace. You're right. It's called grace. And grace is forgiveness without, no, without merit. Without merit. Without merit. So what Christ does... Your God cannot forgive without shedding blood. No, you believe, you what kind of a God is that? You believe in grace. Why does your God demand blood? You believe in grace. No, no. Grace. You believe wait that wait. God. Grace forgives, comes. You believe that God forgives people. Grace comes by mercy of God, not by spilling blood of an innocent. I believe no. in grace. Of course, he I believe in the grace of my God. He does that as an act. He does that as an act. Then everybody is forgiven. Everybody. That's not called forgiveness. That's called payment by blood. It's not forgiveness. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. It's called you don't payment like it. by blood. No, you're right. I'm so sorry you don't like it. I'm sorry you don't like it. Yeah, but he's right. Yes. It is payment. It is payment by blood. And the Bible says that not only does God require blood as a payment to redeem people, he says quite categorically that he died and he paid for his redeemed with his blood. Yeah. So he says it's a payment by blood. So, no, I just, this is what the scripture says in Acts. Paul says here, take, for, take heed therefore to yourselves, talking to the, to the Christians, and to all the flock, that's the flock of Christians, whereof the Holy Ghost, that's God, has made you overseers, to rule the congregation of God, which he, God, has purchased with his, God's blood. Yeah, exactly. So it says point. quite clearly that God purchased his flock with his blood, God died. Which was a pig. Yeah. Yeah, 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 well, I mean, I understand that. Thank you, Richard. But he's not dying as in, like, he doesn't come back again. He's dying. Look, look, my friend, my friend. Do you know why he died? God, God no, what, but do you wait, understand wait, wait, why he Why does God need blood? Tell me that. You, you know why does your God need blood? No, no, no. Why? But you're Only, you know, barbarians. Yeah, yeah. They demand blood. Okay, no, 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 people no. who are not merciful, they demand blood. Whereas God Almighty is the most merciful. Yeah. He does not demand blood you know to forgive why someone. He did it? Yeah, why, why, why was he crucified? Well, what, what, why was he crucified? You tell me why does your why. God need blood? I'll tell you why. Yes. So he could be glorified in the resurrection. That's blood. why. Can he do that without spilling blood? That's the whole point of it. Can he do that, that without the whole spilling point blood? Of it. Can he do Don't that? Don't you see that? It was the point of it. Can he do that without spilling blood? Because my God can. My a, God can forgive it without, without it was a spilling it was a terrible, anyone's blood. It was the worst. Thing my God does not require or demand blood. It was the worst thing. Unlike Christians, it was terrible. Unlike Christians, they take the blood of the innocent. Yeah. That is the biggest injustice in Christianity to kill. You know who condemned humanity? A, wait, wait. Who condemned humanity that they needed payment in blood? Well, put it this way. Who condemned them first? Who condemned humanity first? Who condemned humanity? Yes. Well, I mean, you're talking about the well, who condemned man or the devil? You tell me who condemned humanity that they needed to be saved by blood? Well, you're, you're talking about God as as in providing a, a means for man to escape from his sin. So no, who condemned that that you need who to be saved? Who condemned that? Who condemned it? Yes. Well, who condemned mankind? Right. No, I'm talking about know. your God. Your yeah, God yeah. is the one. Yes, yeah. Yeah. God the Father, according to you, to condemn humanity, the original sin, wait, wait, yeah, yeah. the original sin, that yeah. condemnation Bible was the same guy. 
Okay, put it yes? this way. Because they say this Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit are the one and the okay, same guy. So it is the same it? guy who condemned humanity, and the same guy is now saying, I will pay with I'll my blood. I'll put it this way. I'll put it this doesn't, way. Doesn't no, add up no, at all. I'll put it this way. With the crucifixion and the passion, sometimes darkness has got, and you know this, sometimes darkness has got to come to the world before light comes. So the passion was the ultimate darkness, the ultimate suffering. And so after that. It was an ultimate. An ultimate. He rose up in three you don't days. Understand How can that be ultimate you sacrifice? Do you know what sacrifice means? Sacrifice means you once understand. you give up something, you don't, you don't get it back. You if you knew you were going it. to get it back in three days, that is not sacrifice. That is just, that is just like a loan you give to someone and you get it back in three days. Yeah. A sacrifice. Yeah. Look, yeah. you know, you know when the soldiers you go don't, fight. You don't, you don't understand. When the soldiers go and fight their enemies, yes, they are. When they are actually, when they die, they are treated as martyrs, and they are given medals for their sacrifice because the country knows that these soldiers will not be returning back in three days. But you understand yes? that. But Jesus knew that he was going to come back in three days. How is that a sacrifice? No, you don't and you call it the ultimate well, sacrifice? You why. Absolutely not. I'll tell you not. why you don't understand it. Okay, why? You know, you know why. You know why? Because his disciples didn't know it. You know, know what? His disciples didn't. Did he not tell his disciples he's going to raise, rise in three they're days? Men, they're men. They're like us. They're afraid. They're scared. They're men. And, and so was Jesus. So was Jesus afraid. And so was he not afraid in the Garden of Gethsemane? He was begging God to take the crucifixion away from him. He don't understand it. Did he? Was he not afraid? Tell me. In the Garden of Gethsemane, when he was sweating blood on his knees, begging God for what? What did he beg God for? Well, uh, just pass me from this terrible suffering. Now. I'm going to from, be going through it. Yes, yeah, yeah. basically he was asking freedom oh, you, from... You believe free, Wait, wait, wait. Freedom from the crucifixion. Yeah. Yes, he was asking that to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did God answer his prayers? No, because it's God. God's did he just will. say no? Oh, you are Muslim, right? Wait, wait, did he just oh, say no? You're so basically he's telling me that his own no. God's prayer got rejected. No, no. What chance do you have can of, I, your, I, no. of your prayers no. getting accepted? Can, can I answer that? Look at the look on that guy's face. <laughs> can, I, can I answer okay. that? So, because you know what he said? You know God's what he said? prayer got rejected? He said God's will be done. You are Muslim. You understand that? Submit to God. Everyone, said, God's will be everyone done. who believes in God believes God's that. Will be nothing, done. nothing wrong with that. Everyone who prays to God you knows understand that. Everyone who prays to God knows that his prayer will be answered based on his will. Never on your will. It was God's will so that Jesus, he died. What Jesus said at the end of that prayer it's not is nothing new. Was. What he said at the beginning is what you correctly said that his prayers were rejected. No, no, what kind of a God's <laughs> prayers get rejected? Only the false God. Okay? You, you understand more well, than what you're letting Look, I showed about. you a point where Jesus is a mortal. He died by his own creation. I showed I you where Jesus, his own prayers got rejected. He represents rejected. the resurrection. He represents the resurrection. You keep, I know you love to go to the resurrection. But well, why not? That's Wait, the ultimate. That's the no, ultimate. No, it's not the thing. ultimate. You can't Isn't use an ultimate, ultimate about. Use an ultimate sacrifice as well. I just yeah, showed you it's not the ultimate. Why, why, why not go to the resurrection? Okay. That is the meaning. You know what? Of, that is the meaning of creation and God's purpose for the world. No, no. The meaning of creation is the birth. Okay? You go the to birth. You the birth of Jesus you go was actually a proof to you that he is actually a mortal. Mm. Yes? God is not born from the women's privates. No. Okay, do you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Jesus know he was God when he was born? born of a virgin. Wait, wait, did he know when he was God when he was born? I, I wasn't there at the time. But, but you should I know your God. You seem to know a lot about him. Well, yeah. yeah do you think he knew God. he was God? Do, I, well, I do, you, do you think he knew when he was suckling I'll, from his mother that he when. was God? I'll tell you when. Do you think he knew he was God well, when he used to wet his pants? Let me answer Or his nappies or whatever you need to call let them. Let me answer it. Go on. Let's he see knew answer. that he was the son of God. Can I just interrupt you? Don't shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Okay, I'll answer that. I'll answer that. understanding. This is my, yeah, It's a passion, not anger. This is my, yeah. I love my passion. Don't you interrupt my passion. I love my passion. Go on. This is my point of view, right? Do you believe that he was baptized by John the Baptist? Do you believe that Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist? Was Jesus baptized according to the Bible? He was. Yeah, and, and that the Spirit. Have you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? He goes to John the Baptist. Jesus was one of John the Baptist's disciples. And? Yeah, have you got it? Jesus, He's one of his disciples. Yeah, well, what so about? what happens is that he goes to John the Baptist, and John the Baptist goes, you know, why am I baptizing you? You know, you are, you know, like you're you're better than me. He knows him. He knows him. But you know what happens? He has a profound spiritual experience. He's baptized by John, and the Spirit of God comes to him, and he says, "You are my beloved son." And what is that proof? That means that he knew he was the son of God when John the Baptist. The Bible also says Adam is the son. So what does that make? 
I, I mean, I don't know whether he knew he was the son the of Bible, God when he was a kid. Or the Bible like says that. Adam is called the son of God. That, what is that, that proof? Nothing. That's my there own, are many sons in the Bible. That's my own Jesus wasn't the only one. That's my own personal opinion, by the way. I, I don't know that for sure because I wasn't there. Okay, by the way, why was he baptized? I wasn't there. I thought he's only the sinners who were baptized. Why was Jesus baptized? Why was you? Well, that's quite an interesting point because you know what he says: we must fulfill all righteousness. So why was he baptized he if, if he didn't have? If he was already righteous? Because he needed to have that. It, that what? He needed God to speak to him, and you know what happens after that? Are you that? saying God wouldn't speak to him unless he was baptized? Seriously? <laughs> I what kind of a God do you believe in? I believe God spoke to him. He needs he permission to speak. And what happens after that? No, why? You, look, you know I happens? asked you, I asked you the question. You did know Jesus, what happens you know after what happened? that? The question I asked you was, did Jesus know that he was God? He knew during, it. I, during the 30 years of his I life on this earth. I believe that he knew it when he was baptized by John. Did he know before that? He probably had ideas and he knew he was an important person. So basically you have a huge gap of Jesus' life. He was a prophet. 30 years yeah. or for 27 years in your Bible he thought yes. he was a prophet so God. so wait a minute Jesus didn't know he was God when he, he was did, actually when he born was baptized by John yeah but that was after 27 years what I'm saying is that when Jesus was on earth for 27 years before he was baptized yeah. did he even have a clue he was God well he probably thought he was an important person like a prophet no he didn't know all about the Messiah he didn't know he was an important I, that, that's my personal point of view I think he realized it when he was baptized by John so, so, well, he was baptized by John that is a different point because the Holy Spirit